Pierre. Ready to leave for Francia when you are. I am ready. Sending war across the sea. Already his armies assemble and crows gather again over Paris. Welcome to Francia! What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us. Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The mad king did this. We all had a part in it. It is. We are almost there, but we cannot take the longship around Paris as the Frank's bridges block the way. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day, but I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Hoka. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to lead sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. Strange to be back after so long. I thought to return with an army. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. have returned. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, uh, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. 
It is where he begins most days. This way. Father lies there with the others. We should go. There is something calm about this place. It is a beautiful land, or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. I will not rest without. You are almost there. Your honor will be redeemed. I swear it. Siegfried. You came, Wolf's kiss. Good. You knew it was me. Yeah, sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor. As Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. How dangerous are these Franks? What do they want? Do you not understand? They want us as Sinric. Dead and dishonored, but I will teach them what honor means. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vida, a more noble beast I have never known. Look at that vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eichthirni who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. Ours will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mods with mead, 
blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver talker. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so odd, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well! Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Anglin, this is a good night. Oh, shit. They will attack on sight here. Horses give them advantage, but it'll not be enough. What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded, and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack! I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother and your father. I am sorry, Toka. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensforp. <laughs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. This battle will not be won with Axis. I must find a way to meet Charles, and convince him not to attack England. Remember, Charles murdered Gottfried. He will not honor his word. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one King Toka. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right, but I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I'll meet Siegfried there, and return when Engelwin is dead. Then we will find Charles. Evor, over here! Yeah. What is this about? We have a shared interest. You in resisting Francia's north loathing loyalists, me in getting paid. Those do not seem connected. I am working with a rogue band of men and women across Francia who tire of the chaos Charles's rule brought. Their numbers are small, 
Few are foolish enough to resist well-equipped loyalist forces. You do not believe in their cause? I do not, but they do. This is where you come in. Help them, and you will have ample reward for your effort. It is strange that you support them while believing their cause ill-fated. What kind of monster would I be if I were to dash the hope they hold in their hearts? Anyway, there is profit to be made, and only a fool ignores that. So, what will it be? Toka guessed you would be here. She's still at Melleu, looking for your missing watch. Uh, I lost Angoin, but this soldier told me he is heading for the church nearby. Come, we can go through the slums. Ah, even from here I can smell the piss of the slums. Siegfried, I mean to stop this fight from coming to England. I must meet with Charles. For what? You cannot bargain with these thralls. Have you forgotten my fallen brother, Sinric? No. That is why I must try. It is why I came to Frankia. If I kill Engelwyn, I want you to help me get an audience with the king. There is no reasoning with you, Wolfkist. You are as wild as your namesake. Holy kings and conquerors! The northerners may have numbers, but we have God! That is Odo, Count of Paris and right hand man to the king. Drumming up support for his army, no doubt. Our courage and honor will not fail us, no matter how hot the fight. We will overcome this evil, as we always have! Self important as always. The one next to him is Gosselin, Bishop of Paris and a fearsome warrior. For oh, Frank. Those two are for another day. You have to get to Englewood, and to do that, you have to find your way into the church. The answer is down there in that stink. That is not much to go on. If it was easy, I would have killed him myself already. You have an advantage. You are unknown to these. The Raider Siegfried is almost at our gates! And what does he want? What the Northerners always want! Blood and silver! Yours and mine! Me, they know quite well already. Someone down there knows something. All you have to do is get them to tell you. I have your word. Once this is done, we find Charles. As you say, but work fast. I cannot leave Melo unguarded long. This Frankish stench already turns my stomach. Three guards, insulting. I will deal with them while you find Engelwyn. He is hiding in his church. Will you sneak in, convince one of his own to aid you, or cover the streets with blood? As you would. They deserve no less. But you are the wolf kissed. You do not need my advice. So what will you do? I will find my own way. This robe is well made, and looks ceremonial. It might be useful. Count Odo is the protector of Paris! The king's man! 
And this is an impressive horde for a bishop. Anglewin serves more than the church alone. Red or coin? Red or coin? Are you the owner? Owner? Oh, <laughs> That's such a naively hopeful world. What can I get you? You have a good crowd. If you mean tables of soldiers drowning themselves in wine at my expense, then yes, it's good enough. It might be better if not for that old drunk over there, crying about the bishop to everyone who listened. <sighs> I'd send him away, but to be honest, I need his business. I need to find the bishop. <laughs> the bishop? I can tell you he's not in this mud pit, my friend. He wouldn't risk soiling his holy sandals. There is a priest who does the bishop's numbers in here at times. Last I saw, he was talking to a table of soldiers. Thanks for the help. You look the kind that enjoys a good complaint. You'll be back. Wine loosens lips as well as ale. Someone at the tavern might know something. That'll get me into the church. Someone I could look for the scribe at the plague district. Or see if someone here knows something more. Well, not me. My cup isn't empty yet. That bishop makes me uneasy. For a servant of God. What does a bishop and his soldiers want with my daughter? You mentioned the bishop. Oh, he took her. My daughter. She's gone. She's a good girl. Never any trouble. She wouldn't steal anything. Who took your daughter? Was it the bishop? The bishop's soldiers in the slums. Said she stole the bishop's silver. Said she has a devil. Needs deliverance. Uh, sir? What did you say? I will find your daughter here in the slums. And she will help me find Anglewyn. That is two good leads. I'm looking for a priest who helps the bishop with his numbers. A church scribe. You as well. He's popular today. It must be serious if it's bringing you all down here. We don't get many visitors. Someone else was looking for him. Guards from the city. He didn't seem too pleased to see them. They got to arguing, then all left toward the sewer. Tell me where the sewer is. Just over the rise. Be careful, though. With all those plague bodies, it's not clean and smells to high heaven. Water, but 
this is a list of some kind. It must have come from the scribe. <laughs> Plague corpses. Just as the nun said. Floated here from somewhere ahead. <laughs> Stretch your wings sooner. The guards here are vigilant. Was close. You're welcome. Your father told me the bishop took you. My father? Yeah, the bishop's soldiers. I didn't steal nothing neither. Then they wanted to give me deliverance. You stole from the bishop. That was bold. I just said I didn't, didn't I? Well, I didn't take no silver. It was just a little church key. I want that key. So did the soldiers. But you are too late. I sold it to bandits in the sewers. They got it cheap, too. <laughs> My reward for helping you is to fight bandits. You are welcome. Good luck. The sewers stink. I have to get to my father before he is thrown out of the tavern again. This must be the sewers. Fresh tracks. Bandits must be close. Rats are small, but their teeth are sharp. Must we got this? These goods have been packed for travel. The bandits are smuggling. Luck, luck. Everyone knows the bishop has rooms packed with soldiers. Key. 
They have not returned yet, Father. What? Did you hear that priest? He was talking about deliverance again. They are always hey. talking, usually about you and you. If you listen to them. Shh. Shh. Don't say such things. You'll be taken for a heretic and sent for deliverance yourself. For deliverance. Yes. I, I don't know. I want to be close to God, but those screams don't seem right. Does it seem right to you? Your deliverance ritual. Is it with Engelwyn? Uh, yes. He does it alone. I, I'm next in line, and I, I don't think I want this. I could take your place and see Engelwyn for you. Then you could leave. Tell me what I must do. You need a robe. They won't let you in without their special robe. Then, you go down the corridor and talk to the priest. I have a robe already. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, just make sure you are wearing it when you go in. They won't let you in otherwise. I'll go to the priest now. You should leave. Uh, but yes, yes, uh, you are right. Uh, as soon as my nerves settle, it can... Engelwyn didn't say anything about this. Why are they screaming? What do they do in the basement? I need to find Bishop Engelwyn. Do you know where he is? If you are here for deliverance, you have a long wait. My brother has been upstairs waiting for hours now. Ready for the ritual. Take this key. Prepare your heart, and when you are ready, enter through this door. The bishop is waiting for you. Welcome, traveler. Your eyes are covered. Yet you see me. Justice and innocence are both blind, yet see more clearly for it. Find them, light the way. And in him is no darkness at all. The way through darkness to your deliverance is clear when it is lit by God. It is a riddle. A way to deliverance. That must mean angle when that is one. The nun said lights. That is two. Justice and innocence light the way. Without them, we are blind. Naked you came from your mother's womb. And naked you will return. Enter here now, naked and alone. Judgments are just. This disguise may not be 
convincing up close. I should keep my distance from the guards. You must enter the pool. We cannot begin until you are cleansed by the ritual water. Come, my child. Like the priest. Come. Do you know why you are here, child? Yes. You have been chosen for a great honor. Yet being chosen is only the beginning. What we do now won't be pleasant. Remember, the Lord has said, unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. Yes, I remember. Others showed themselves unworthy, as you have seen. My hope is you will fare better. I will. Mm, your confidence speaks well of you. Once we begin, we cannot stop. I will not heed your cries. Your soul depends on it. The devil will not endure the pain, so you must. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. We may discover in the pain there is a delicious pleasure. God himself grants it as a mercy to aid us in the struggle. Now, make yourself ready. This robe. And do not leave the pool until I grant you leave. I am to be unclothed. Do not be concerned for modesty. Once you comply, my guards will leave, and we will be alone for the ritual. Very well. Guards, leave us. Very good. You have made the correct choice. And now, we will begin. Accept. I beseech thee, this free will offering, O oh Lord. Charles tells of the attack on Milan 
It was to be sent this night to a brothel in the tavern. The king must be there now. 